Hey everyone, so if you've been uh, following this uh, printer nightmare issue that Microsoft has had recently with sharing printers on the network and not working and it failing and there's been patches that have been released but there still seems to be issues with it. So I essentially decided instead of having this connect to the network via this one being USB to a computer, uh, I got one of these print servers, these uh, StarTech.com um, makes them and a bunch of companies make them. But with this, it connects to your parallel connection and then to the network. And by doing that, you kind of avoid this issue because then this becomes a network printer. Um, so there's like a little print server. So we're gonna plug this in and see, um, see what it looks like. So on this uh, printer, all the connections are down here. So right now I have the USB I had from before. And what I'll do is I'll connect this to the parallel port, which is down here. And my plan is to actually leave both. So the computer that's connected directly, I'll leave it with the USB. And then for the other printers, the other computers that have to print to this, I'll use this. That way, if for some reason one goes down, let's say the network goes down or some other issue, at least there's one printer that's going to print. So I'll see if both of these can work together uh, or if I'll have some kind of uh, issue with that. Um, but uh, we'll connect this and then the network connection is going to go here. And it also has a plug. So this is like a five volt plug that will be connected to here and then the network here and we'll connect that. Okay, so here we have the network connection that we'll plug into here. And then we'll plug in one of the power connections here to there. So then it'll start lighting, lighting up and it should get this IP address and be ready to go. So let's flip it around. Okay, so I was able to connect both the uh, USB and the print server and it works from both devices, it's from both computers. Um, so that is the solution to get around this issue. All right. Thanks for watching.